morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy midnight, sad midnight, wherever you're at in the world watching this video. This is going to be a breakdown into the Hothead Rocket Launcher and what I'm looking for. This, this has been a hot question for the entire week. EK, what do you want on it? What do you want on it? So I'm going to go through what I want on it. All right. Before we do that, right, I'm just going to show like what I kept when I felt like possibly could be some good potentials here. Sadly, Ensemble is not one of those things that I really wanted. I guess tracking can be good, right? Locks on a target when aiming down sight. Oh, sure. That means that when you get this rocket launcher, especially the dev version, you're not really at a loss here because you have tracking, right? Precision rocket launchers have that as an intrinsic thing, but adaptives don't. Now, explosive light is one thing that I've been looking for in here because it's 25% extra damage, right? I also kept one with Warble because that 15%, which is going to become 10% in the future, is still a viable thing because I don't need to run around to grab orbs or do anything, right? Like explosive light to kind of get damage, right? So it's not a bad thing. This is like a flat out damage buff, right? Like you don't have to do anything. It's just there. All right. Next, it's kind of the same thing, but this one had Thread Sector, right? There's nothing wrong with like Thread Sector Ensemble. I believe they're just very situational. I'm probably going to keep this one and delete the other one that had Ensemble on there. Because I feel like Ensemble is very, very uh, situational. It doesn't prove you're handling a reload speed when you're by allies. Maybe something like if you're doing like uh, a DPS phase and you're near your allies, cool. That could be something. Demolitionist with warp was not bad. The reason why I say that is because with Demolitionist, I throw a grenade and my rock is loaded. I'm using it more for the first part than the second part. The reason why I say that is because the second part for for heavy, right? Or special ammo weapon when they get kills, I believe it is only 10% that you get from this, right? Actually, no, I'm sorry. Primaries and heavies are 10%. Uh, energy weapons though are uh, are twenty percent. So I would need ten kills in order to get my grenade back. So there's no point in me using this for that. I'm kind of using it for the reload perk, right? That means I can shoot one for my grenade, shoot another, and then reload if I have to. And then last but not least, this is gonna be very controversial, but I kind of got lucky with this roll here, and I'm definitely gonna keep it. I'm probably gonna be using it after this December patch note that happens. Adrenaline Junkie is basically turned into like swashbuckler but it's gonna be grenade buckler does that make sense the so swashbuckler if you kill stuff you can stack it up to five with the weapon or if you melee you get the stack to times five right away right so drilling junkie uh and max stack is 33 percent extra damage that is the highest out of everything even over explosive light right but here you have to do something now let's say you get a kill with your grenade you go to max stacks right away for 10 seconds so Having something like this paired with like fill prep is really nice because fill prep adds 45 to your base reload. I don't know the exact number for the base reload for this rocket launcher, but if I'm looking here, it's 50. So that means that my reload is going up to 95. But having these two together, this has high potential for DPS. So I guess I don't have to go look for it because I kind of have it ready for the update. All right. Now let's look at what the gun can actually have and what roles that I can get on it. I still think when it comes down to right here, the magazine, I like impact casing. When it comes to the barrel, I'm either going to want quick launch or hard launch. All right. Quick launch or hard launch are going to be my options here. Now, when it comes to this area right here, it would have been cool to see something like, oh, demolitionist with adrenaline junkie, because if I kill my grenade, I get my, you know, grenade energy back. And if I, you know, like, Toss my grenade, my weapon is reloaded, and I get to do more damage. You've got kill with it. Cool. But at the same time, you can see here it says primary power weapon skills grant 10% of your grenade energy. Rockets don't even hold up to 10, you know? And you would have to like have like a the perfect situation where there's like 10 thralls that like lined up together perfectly, waiting for you to just like smack them in the face with the one rocket that you're about to shoot. Eh, it doesn't seem like that's gonna be possible. Alright? Now Another reason why I would say Demolitions is not the craziest thing here is because unless you're using it just for reload, right? So you can get the extra shot in, it is not worth it. The best thing here will be fill prep. Why? Because fill prep also adds to your over overall inventory. Now, last slot. You could do multiple things here, right? If you wanted something that 
you know, you want to just do a crap ton of damage with, sure, clown cards just can be a good thing here. But do I really care that much about clown cards for No, because I know that's going to give me two anyway. So then if that's the case, you know, like having Demolitionist, I can shoot two kind of right away. Warble is a flat. It's going to be 50 percent damage right now, but it's going to be a flat 10 percent damage against bosses, vehicles, guardians with their supers active. All right. Because heavies are going to be going to 10 percent for Warble. It's still a flat damage thing. And you know what? If you end up in a position where you, you get to damage a boss and this adds around them, you could probably do something with threat detector, right? Because it gives you the stability to reload and faster handling. Cool. Does that make sense? Right? If you're within 15 meters of one enemy, that's what you get. If you're within 15 meters of two plus enemies, you get 40 stability, 55 reload, 43 faster handling. So this threat detector might be the next best thing situational wise, but it's, is it going to be better than field prep? Not really, because you don't need to be around anyone. You get extra uh, ammo and then with your scavenger, you get to pick up more. So this is probably the best in slot here. Now, I am not going to recommend tracking because tracking comes on the weapon. Regardless, you have this choice always. If you're going for the dev version, you're always going to have this in the bottom section. So I don't really need to kind of like, hey, you need tracking. And the tracking thing depends on what kind of player you are, what you like to use. Quick draw, I would, I don't really care about quick draw here either. Ensemble might be a thing, right? Within 15 meters of one ally, you gain 30 handling and 40 reload. Now, Ensemble is in, the, is in the same situational area as Red Detector. Red Detector needs enemies. Ensemble, you get teammates around you. You get 30 handling and 40 reload. That is also not a bad thing to use, okay? Because it is very situational, right? They say there's only one boss in a room and you don't DPS. You get that reload here. But like I said, man, nothing beats having more ammo, right? More ammo, fast reload. And if you have your teammates, uh, like somehow you guys made like heavy ammo with like ammo or something like that before the boss fight start, when you pick up, you get more ammo here. So field prep is going to be the best in this field. Now we're going to go down to danger zone. I'm going to say no here. Thresh. Sure, but why would you want to use a rocket to get your super uh, up, you know? Explosive lights. If I'm going through the list of like what I'm going to have, right? I'm going to have either Vorpal, Explosive Light, or Drilling Junkie. Explosive Light is pretty neat. And everyone thought it was going to be a 70% damage increase. It wasn't. When it first came out, it was only 15. Uh, Bungie now changes to 25, right? So 25% increase, and your blast rate is set to 100. This is neat, but it also relies around you picking up orbs. And the thing is, once you have max with explosive light, it still picks up more orbs. So now you're wasting orbs if you're trying to change supers. It is a nice thing to have, but at the same time, it is not, if that makes any sense. The next best thing here, like I said, after the December update, is going to be Adrenaline Junkie. It's basically going to be Grenade Buckler, meaning after you kill the grenade, it's going to go to the max stat, which is going to be 33% extra damage. Right? If you put that together with fill prep, I think this is the guy roll my opinion. And I mean I kind of showed you I have a fill prep adrenaline junkie uh with velocity. I literally have this roll like on my screen, right? So I have what I need for the future, right? And we know how it goes. Last season we got a fusion as a what is it? Uh, as, the, as the seasonal weapon, the fusion became the mod. So everyone's thinking we got a rocket this season with Ascendancy. That means next season when Witch Queen comes out, we're probably going to get rocket mods on our uh, on our artifact. Another thing is they're bringing Gallahorn up. So there's probably going to be a lot of play for a lot of rockets in the future. All right. That's my complete breakdown for Hothead. If you like this review, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm out, son. You know what I'm saying? Like...